was the largest debut in hip hop. You, you're looking at it and you're saying that everything is wrong with our culture is why I'm a success. So when I actually got a chance to talk to her, she was like, I never thought about it like that. 50 Cent has officially entered the conversation surrounding the controversy involving Taraji P. Henson and Oprah's new remake of The Color Purple. In a surprising move, 50 Cent is urging Taraji to part ways with Oprah and join his production crew instead. If you've been keeping up, Taraji recently disclosed that she almost walked away from The Color Purple due to inadequate pay. Many are now pointing out that 50 Cent had previously warned the public about Oprah's actions years ago. Interestingly, 50 Cent was one of the first public figures to call out Oprah, accusing her of undermining black entertainers while protecting her white connections, like Harvey Weinstein. However, 50 Cent is not just one to speak without action. When Monique revealed that she was being blacklisted for saying no to Oprah and Tyler Perry, 50 Cent not only confronted them, but also hired Monique for his show. Now, he's expressing the desire to do the same for Taraji, and fans are excited about the prospect of seeing her on one of 50 Cent's shows, such as Power or BMF. So, what exactly did 50 Cent say about the Taraji versus Oprah controversy? And who are the other black actors Oprah allegedly sabotaged? Let's dive into the backstory. 50 Cent's feud with Oprah can be traced back to the early 2000s when he was on the rise to fame. Wanting to secure his success, he sought to appear on Oprah's show. This wasn't just about personal achievement for him, it was a chance to show his grandmother, a devoted Oprah fan, that he was making a meaningful impact. However, Oprah turned down the proposal, stating that she didn't see what 50 Cent could bring to the table, given her opposition to his music content. This rejection fueled 50 Cent's decision to become Oprah's enemy rather than a friend. Over time, 50 Cent's animosity towards Oprah escalated. He named one of his dogs Oprah, openly expressing his disdain for her. Beyond personal issues, 50 Cent believed that Oprah had a pattern of undermining black entertainers unless they aligned with her views. This sentiment was shared by Ludacris, who had a bitter experience on Oprah's show in 2005. Instead of allowing him to discuss his role in the movie Crash, Oprah confronted Ludacris about his use of the N-word in his lyrics, creating an uncomfortable situation on national TV. Ludacris felt that Oprah's approach was shady, as he had been invited under the guise of promoting Crash, only to be subjected to a different agenda. Despite Ludacris providing a thoughtful response, Oprah edited out his comments, making it seem like he had nothing to say. This incident added to the perception that Oprah had a tendency to manipulate narratives on her show. The pattern continued with Tony Braxton in 1998, when Oprah took a similar approach after news broke of Tony filing for bankruptcy. Instead of giving Tony a chance to share her side of the story, Oprah went into interrogation mode, grilling her about her financial situation and making her feel small for not being financially savvy. Monique's accusations against Oprah and Tyler Perry further fueled the narrative. Monique claimed that Oprah had a pattern of demeaning both black men and women. She cited Oprah's exploitation of Michael Jackson and his family in 1993 and her later involvement in the controversial HBO documentary Leaving Neverland. Oprah's interview with Tony Braxton and her treatment of Monique led to a public outcry. Many criticized Oprah for not adopting a similar approach when it came to her longtime friend Harvey Weinstein, who was later convicted of sexual assault. Some even accused Oprah of supporting a problematic power structure for personal gain. Despite efforts to restore her reputation, Oprah continues to face allegations of undermining black entertainers. The recent controversy with Taraji P. Henson reignited discussions about Oprah's actions, prompting 50 Cent to publicly offer support to Taraji and propose collaboration with his production company. Fans applaud 50 Cent for taking a stand and supporting black actors who feel let down by Oprah. 
His actions, including hiring Monique for his show, demonstrate a commitment to his words. While some may view 50 Cent as one of the few authentic celebrities willing to speak out against Oprah, opinions on this matter vary. The question remains, was 50 Cent right about Oprah all along? Would you like to see Taraji in one of 50 Cent's shows? Feel free to share your thoughts on this ongoing controversy.